Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Gipper Tesla. Welcome to episode 3 of Chrono Trigger. It's been over a month since we interrupted Chrono Trigger to do Legacy of Kane series, to do, uh, like I'm fornicating with these games, to, uh, to, to finish the Legacy of Kane series, which we started in October, and we're back to Chrono Trigger, and as soon as we're done with this, Chrono Cross will already be out, my all-time favorite game, so I can't wait to jump into that. But for now, let's jump into this. Why do I have two save files? In case of glitches, I guess? Yeah, six and a half hours. Load this file. Hey, wait, that's new. It wasn't like that before, was it? Or am I crazy? The exclamation point? I don't remember that. See? Was it dead there before? You sure? I gotta check the streams. Maybe I just remember the Super Nintendo version. So we went into the bucket, we saw Lavos, right? And we 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 ran out of there like cowards because it's fucking scary. We're too weak for him right now. Right? Did I do that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what did Gaspar say? I'm sorry, uh old man. Yeah, old man. Spoilers. Uh well, well, it seems I was right. People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers, you know. Yes, long ago. Long, long ago. Well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing you seem so intent on doing, but why not first pay a visit back to your own era? Haste makes waste, as they say, and you'll find that even truer here. Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on time's road. Okay, old man. So, the original trio or bring Robo? We can only bring three people. He doesn't have magic, but he has fists and lightning. So, he basically has lightning. <laughs> magic. Okay, we want to go to... Shouldn't it say the number? I'm gonna say this is the protodome. Nope. Medina Village 1000. Nope. My own era, huh? That means. Yeah. Yeah, I said because you gotta leave. You can't bring all three of them. Uh, all f you can't bring more than three people because time portals. Wait, what the hell? Sixty-five million? Is something screwy? Wait, one thousand. That's that's my that's our era. We're from one thousand year one thousand. Okay, yeah. Right now, he said, "Go to your own era." We're gonna do that, right? That's what he said. What I think. Zoom. Whoa! Wow, that was fast. Ah, they're gonna appear in his closet. I remember. <laughs> like our president. <laughs> you folks came out of our, my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing in here? Who do you think you are, coming and going for someone else's wardrobe at all hours of night and day? Humans, I'll tell you. <laughs> so they're monsters. They're... I think they're called mystics. They're called mystics in this version, yeah. I think. I'm not sure. Like, I, this is the third translation of this game I'm playing, so... Third localization. So, pardon me if I got all lost. Why is there magic in you? Magic using humans were supposed to have died out long ago. Medina is a village of fiends. Fiends, that's right. Founded by our ancestors when they lost their war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the townsfolk still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. Oh, they're really nice. White turd. White turd what? Okay, same. So the war that they lost, that they refer to as the war, it's 400 years, uh, 400 years ago. Oh, I'll get to that. 400 years ago was the... Uh, uh, events that took place when we were in the past, when we rescued 
Nadia or a Marla from uh, from you know not existing while actually rescuing her ancestor uh, Queen Lean so that Nadia could exist at all yeah we're back like from time travel game to time travel game mind fuck to mind fuck now, I didn't play for a month but I still rem remember a lot first first things first I'm sorry thank you for being here Lubitze Lubitze really appreciate that you always ask when do I start streaming and all that uh, because that's cute I don't know what else to say and I'm happy you're here and third yeah because I first played it uh, the, the original Super Nintendo version American version it was never released in Europe on Super Nintendo uh, but I never finished that one because I couldn't ke keep it I didn't have the game long enough to finish it I got very near the end then I played the PlayStation port which I'm not sure, I think it was also American. Um, and I finished that one, that was about 10 years ago. And then after that, this is the third version basically I'm playing. And their PlayStation port was derived mostly from the Super Nintendo original, but this version has updated uh, text uh, translation from Japanese, so there are some differences. That's why third. Hold on a minute, Link. What's up, old man? Okay, no, I'm in the wrong <laughs> media. <laughs> oh, no, now I have that song in my head. Eagle Raptors, Zelda rap. If you know what I mean, you know exactly how catchy it can be. <laughs> that's not a sword. That's your dick, dick in disguise. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can't. Hey, hold on a minute. There's an odd old human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west. He may be able to help uh, help you out. Thanks. This is my getaway. Oh, I'm happy. I'm so glad that it's like that. That it's not boring you. That's 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 that that makes me very happy. <laughs> but why are you being so nice? I thought fiends are weren't supposed to get along with humans. Haha, -ha, generalization. Never good, even with monsters. It's been 400 years since man warred against fiend. There's no use living in the past. Of course, not many other fiends seem to agree with that. These are fucking great messages. Give this to your children. Teach this to your children. This is amazing. This is what educated me. Aside from parents, of course. This. That's fucking... That's, that's, I have no words. I know this game and still I'm like, Jesus, this is so good. Okay, let's visit some houses. So this was residence. Now this is elder's house. They're not gonna fight us, are they? Blast that Ozzy the Eighth. Always hiding behind his ancest ancestral fame to boss us around. This work is brutal. <laughs> I'm Ozzy the Eighth, the leader of this village. My great 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 grandfather fought against the humans at the side of the Fiend Lord himself. Oh great Fiend Lord, why didn't you exterminate the human race four centuries ago when you had the chance? <laughs> I miss this, giving everyone their voice, or at least trying to make as many voices as I can nice sofa man I could use a sofa here like exactly like this one I would stream from this just watch me but, damn it dude you need to slim down you're blocking my way look at that I have to go all around the table because this guy probably eats the whole village look at these guys the, the, the little ones they're all tiny because he eats all their food A fearsome beast lives in the cave on the mountain to the west. Only magic can harm it. I doubt a human would be able to make it through, not being able to use magic and all. Well, I better get back to tidying up before Ozzy the Eighth catches me. They're fiends, monsters, basically. Oh, nice. They just steal from their house. Yeah, it's Ozzy's house. They're basically monsters. Just look at them like that. They're like little tiny emperor pilafs from uh, 
from Dragon Ball. Look at them, they all look like Pilaf. You call that tidying up? You know, if tidying up was just walking from a corner to a corner of a house, I would never have anything against doing it. I would do it every day, just like walk a few rounds and that's it. We'll learn more about them. They were already mentioned. Yeah, it's actually, his name is Pilaf, which is Pilav, you know, the, the rice dish that we ate so much in, the, in childhood. We call it Pilav here in Serbia, as you know. So that's it. Uh, he should be Gospodar Pilav, but I guess it was too ridiculous to be called like that. Just like Vegeta, as they say in English, Vegeta. They're like they're all named after spices and foods, I guess because uh, what's his face? Oh, Yoshinori, Yoshinori Mitsuda is in my head. Uh, Akira Toriyama likes food, I guess. Medina Inn. Oh, look at this guy! I fought your brother or something no room here for humans scat give up or plead what would I think they're gonna fight me if I do that really? yeah I think they hate humans I don't know if you missed it so they despise humans most Why? of them because they lost the war 400 years ago and uh, humans and fiends were in a war and the fiend lord I'm not gonna tell uh, who yeah. not to uh, but you, I think you know yeah. who the fiend lord is he uh, led an army against humans, but they lost and it was the it was in the era where we saved uh, Marla's ancestor Queen Lean. It was that year 400 years ago So the great Sir Cyrus that went into battle he was fighting them at that time and They're still angry because they lost the war. They think they're the superior race. It's like Hilden and vampires They think they're superior humans think they're superior. There's a third player here who would have been superior if flowers didn't appear but we'll get to that yeah. my guy <laughs> my man <laughs> uh, so what do you th say give up or plead I can be just like I can be I cannot look for uh, for wait do I even need they're all full with it I don't need to plead now fuck it. hello gentlemen out you're spoiling my drink Filthy humans ought to go all go take a hike through that Hecarim cave and get what's coming to him. <laughs> oh, you'll see. They mentioned it. So the the good couple of fiends that lived in whose house we appeared, in whose wardrobe we appeared, they said there's a guy in the in the cave, a human in a cave in the west that has some knowledge. But I also said the the cave is um, wait. It's maybe better if I show you. There we go. And this. Yeah, it is. This is the year 1000. 400 years after the... But I'm not in the... In, I'm, no, that's the trick. That's why I was also confused with Medina Village, but yeah. What's the map again? L? Yeah, I'm here now. I'm on another continent. Yeah, I've, I should have showed that. So we started all the way there in the west. You can see the castle and the town. And now we're here. That was important, yeah. But it's like, I know the game, so I'm not exploring as much. I'm trying, though. Uh, sir? No stinking humans gonna talk to me. But you're talking to me, brother. Wait, is this one of those games? This one of those games, if no matter how much you level up, there's gonna be a fit same level as you? No, it's oh. Chrono Trigger. This is not Final Fantasy VIII. Okay. Only Final Fantasy VIII has that, I think. Well, Oblivion too, yeah. And Final Fantasy 2, actually. Yeah. <laughs> How would what? No, Golden, Golden Sun. Sun. Whatever was level 1 when you started, it's level 1 when you're finishing game. You can just plow through them. I got nothing to sell to humans. Get out of here. You know what? I'm gonna plead. Humans think they've got a right to everything. Teach them a lesson, boss. I don't know if this is gonna have some consequences. We wish we could escape, but wait, can we escape? I'm trying though. I don't think we can.
Ooh, antipod bomb dual tech. They they beat you, boss monsters. So they they see us as bad guys. Yeah, they will fight you. Nope. I don't think. All right, I'll sell. Ah, but everything will be insane prices. <laughs> Look at those prices. <laughs> They'll be like, "Fuck you!" Here you go. You can buy something. <laughs> oh my fuck! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can buy for all the party members, and it shows you who gets a boost from whatever you're buying. See, this is your Chrono's damage will go down, down, but here it'll go up. This will, uh, this is for females only, so their defense will go up, and this is for male. I I don't know actually. I don't remember that. So there's a lot I don't remember. Ha <laughs> ha! Sixty-five thousand for yeah. I think everything's like hundred times more expensive. Uh, hey, you think I'm gonna charge a human the going rate? Pretty cool, huh? We can talk to them here, Medina Square. Oh, yeah. Chrono, what's that creepy chanting? We <laughs> <laughs> I love the chosen one. Loving him is fun, fun, fun. We love the chosen one, not as much as me. <laughs> oh, great fiend lord! Yeah, you guys all have the same. <laughs> Four hundred years have passed since Magus commanded commanded the fiends we and w wage war against the humans but if lavos can be reawakened there will be no more humans creepy stuff huh it looks he looks like Cain, but he's not Cain. it was the fiend lord magus magus Ma magus magus oh my god now it sounds like maggots yeah. Ma what is the, the english word way of saying that magus 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 Ma yeah, we would say Magus, so. Yeah. Who gave life to the almighty Lavos to aid us. And once Lavos awakens from his long slumber, the human race is doomed. The almighty fiend lord delivered Lavos unto us long ago with his great magic. Okay, we've seen, talked to that one, so now this one. Oh no, 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 my bad. So the other, this guy, 400 years have passed since Magus commanded the fiends and wage war against the humans, but if Lavos, okay, yeah, I think they're saying the same things. Yeah. The gargoyles say one thing and, oh no, look, this guy said something different. Okay. But yeah, they, they love Magus, the end of the story. Magus, Magus, Mag, Ma, fucking oh. Magus, <laughs> Magus. With Magus, no. <laughs> I can't wait for Lubitsa to see that. Homecoming. Oh, that's Silent. Hill. That's a Silent Hill game. Wrong game. I overwritten. Forest ruins. They said mountains in the west. Where's the map? Oh, okay, southwest. So before we go there, let's go into the forest ruins. Mid ether. Oh, nice. No, 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 no. It's nice, 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 nice. What is this? Oh, I forgot what it, what this is supposed to be. Well, yeah, when you can't go any further. Kind of looks like the Pillars of Nazgoth from the first game, right? I'm trying to remember what was this for, huh? Again, it's been like 10 years since I last played this, so... 11 years. It was a period of a lot of gaming. Zelda Fallout crossover. Yeah, you would. That's what actually what attracted me to the game, Fugitive. 
<laughs> I just realized. I'm like, I get, need, need a few seconds to get through my head. Nephew, welcome, nephew. Oh my god, it's good to see you. <laughs> Ljubka is here. Ljubica, Ljubica, Ljubica is here. Bam, ti brengleski. Da, malo liči. It looks a little. I think I can go English with you just for the audience. It looks. Um, it has that Zelda. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it has that uh, that kind of presentation. But yeah, that's what attracted me to the game. Well, to Final Fantasy franchise, which then in turn brought me to Chrono Trigger. Oh, family. The whole family will be here. Just need to get the whole family into the stream and I'll become a partner in no time. <laughs> That's my evil plan all along. There's so many of us finally to put the numbers into good use. <laughs> okay. What are you up to, nephew? <laughs> we have sisters, we have nephews. Uh, did I save recently? I think I have. Oh look, Melchior's cabin. Do you remember Melchior? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, old man. Oh, you've come to see me. Well, by all means, I have a look at my collection. Could I interest you in a weapon? I'll give you a special price. Yes, I'd like to buy one. Crimson blade band. Ooh, everything's better, but I only have 10,000 gold, old man. What now? Oh wait, I can buy these two, because they're 4,500. So it goes only three up, and for her it goes three up as well. Oh fuck it, I'll, I'll get it. Same, she has it already. But titanium vest. From 52 to 59, and from 54 to 61. Yeah, seven for both, okay? Okay, yeah, I would take that first. So two of those. Why do they? Why did they give them? Wait, well, let me check. I don't know why Chrono and him, Chrono and Robo have, it, but not Marlin Luke. Oh, they have magic uh, icons now. Cool. And we learned our first. The Chronic Triggering. Yeah, it's on Steam. Good to see you, Kalakua. 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 Good to see you. How are you? Yes, it's on Steam. Uh, for Since 2018, actually. But uh, it was shitty at first. Like, very bad port. Like, a lot of square ports at... In the in the 2013 to 2019 period, but because it's Chrono Trigger and uh, yeah, it used to be very bad. But because it's very important, people really pressed them. They issued like eight patches in uh, in a span of four months, and they fixed the game a lot, so it was way better. But now that they uh, they are real re-releasing Chrono Cross on this Friday, I think it is. Um, they They've made, they've issued at least three or four more patches in the past few weeks. So I started playing this just before I came back to Legacy of Kane, uh, and then I real, then I saw that Chrono Cross is coming out, and Chrono Cross is my favorite game of all time. So I was like, yeah, gotta do Chrono Trigger now. But then it hurt me that I didn't finish Legacy of Kane. So I was like, you know what? I'll finish Legacy of Kane. I'll finish Chrono Trigger, and I'll be on time for Chrono Cross, which is semi true. <laughs> Uh, so what else? What else? Thunderblade. Thunder. Ah, ah, ah. Wait. Silver bow. That sounds like something against werewolves. Plasma gun. Main step. And main flick stop on robots. Well, that's not gonna be useful until the future. Uh, 25, 20. Okay, I'll just buy. I'll just buy their shit. Fuck it. Go back to buy. Crimson blade. Uh, wait, did I said Titanium Wests. What am I? Chekhov? Two of those, please. Thank you. Uh, equip them right away. Yes! What a jump. And you too. Whoop. Titanium Vest. Yep. Now I can sell Iron Suits, but... Keep at least one thing, though. Hmm. 
I'm gonna need at least one for future party members. So let's say sell two. How many do I have? Three. Okay. Stock three. Okay. Sell two. Maiden suit. Keep it for now. Bronze armor. Keep it for now. I keep one of the low type all of all low low level low level gear. Cause I remember there's gonna be a battle where you can't hurt the you can only hurt them with the weakest weapon, so I'm gonna keep that for now. Got the tin arm, bronze sword, air gun bronze sword, that's what I'm keeping as well, so yeah. Bronze blade, steel saber, silver sword. Do I need any of these? I'm gonna sell the saber. I'm gonna sell one sword. 2,000 each. I think that's okay. Okay. Doing some shopping. Mm. Now I have money for everything. Which, that I don't need because I just bought everything I needed. <laughs> Tech 30. Yes, please. And what else? Bandit's bow. Wait, I have a bandit's bow already? Okay. Did I buy it? I don't remember buying it. Thunder. Ooh, raises magic by two. Nice. 20, 25. Shit, yeah. Plasma gun. Pocket blaster. I always read rocket blaster. Imagine having to do this with this mess. Bank check clerk <laughs> having to go back to through time every time to to trick him <laughs> for the money i like the, the that composition majora's mask -esque. <laughs> i think that's it they don't need anything else buy everybody has everything they need i have sh one shelter please one more because i'm gonna heal 10 uh, mid potions okay that's like 250 pretty good okay what are we gonna sell first weapons are not meant for the taking of lives they're meant for saving them oh i like you melchior i always did though so inventory sword 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 now Oh, you come to see me? Well, by all means, have a look at my collection. Oh, it's the same line. Sell. Now. One, 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 one. So, Pocket Blaster may go. Whoop. Silver Bow may go. That's it, I think. Thunder Blade. I don't know if I should keep the Thunder Blade. I'll keep it for now. You never know. I'm not... I'm not uh, in trouble with money yet. I like how in his house it's still the Overworld map theme. So he's a weaponsmith. And he's very important to the story. We'll find out later. He's, I'll just say he's related to the grandpa that was at the end of time. But you'll see. I don't think there's anything here. There's a toaster he's making, I guess. Typewriter. Can't save my game there. Book. No. Nope. Okay, let's go to that cave they said humans can't go. I'll show you who can go to the cave. Bastards. Just... Where's the shelter? Because Chrono took some beating. Fiendish Folk. Oh, that's the name of the chapter. Nice. Hecron Cave. Death to the enemies of Fiendkind. Oh, wait, Dual Tech. Your fiend is my friend. Wait, you want to see the new Dual Tech? What did I do? Antipod. Antipod? Antipod? Antipod. That's why I keep shouting Antipod when there's fire and ice. So it's two for both, yeah? Very cheap. Fuck. 
How much are you? I was looking at the menu. 948 and Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yes, it is. It's from the king. Yeah, I'm, I'm blown away. I found out. I, I learned that word at like 16. Jeez. Um, did she ever watch Dragon Ball? And then she would recognize at least the art style from uh, Akira. Oh. That's the waterfall. Snow. Waterfall. It's snow. Uh, they don't call it snow. Yeah. <laughs> I like that people, Serbian people do that all the time. Not just our, our family. A lot of people do that. Yeah, I know. I was like 16, no, I was around 18 when I learned what hentai is. They had to like draw it to me, literally, because the internet was still scarce. So they were like, you know, like cartoon porn. I'm like, no, that that's not a thing. There's no, like, you can't have cartoon porn. No, it is. like that Because they started with all these classy expressions. But, uh, you know, I was like, I don't understand any of those words. You gotta, you gotta be more, you know, you gotta be more simple simplistic with that because I don't know what you're talking about yeah it's like you're you're speaking Spanish except I would understand Spanish at least some of it and then they were like cartoon porn man like no you're just making that up now oh what is this oh wow it's it's an octopus dispenser oh, oh my god they're stealing my MP fuck that bottle up gin bottle just five okay we need to we need to use magic on them oh yeah they said you need magic for this can she get multiple no then just fire fires how much just do fucking kill it with fire we have magic now and we didn't even use it yeah yeah a really good thing actually Uh, he's blind? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, thanks for showing me. Aura world, that would heal us all. <laughs> yeah. Wait, there must be more dual text. We had more dual text, didn't we? Let's wait for Luca to fill up. Now. That's what I wanted. But no, you can't hit more than one, so heal, heal, while I figure out what I'm gonna do with her. Direct line, damn it. Let's see if uh, fire whip hurts them. Enough, cool. What can he do? He can do a cyclone, I guess? Can he even... nope. Can't do shit. Can slash, I guess. Do that. And then you do one of your... Ice! Let, let her have ice! Wah. Fuck yeah! Magic is the way to go. Aha! Uh -huh. No secrets? No? She watches some of some stuff on YouTube. Okay, learned about hentai like two years ago. Yeah, we're nice kids. If we want porn, we want live action porn, not that cartoon crap. Oh, ambush. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna get ambushed here a lot. <laughs> Cyclone! No. Wind slash? No. Their their placement is just off. Maybe flamethrower now? No, they're all like in a weird position. Fuck if you do that and you do that. We're gonna need ethers for this. Maybe I should do antipod when they were close enough. Should have tried that. 
too. <laughs> that was enough, okay. Saved some MP at least. Marley got a level up. See? Water. It's everywhere! What do you mean, no? Mid ether. Alright. So we want to go. That will take me a room down. And this will take me. Oh, this will take me nowhere because I can't. Ah! Or can I? Yeah. What is up with this placement? I can't do double on anyone. Oh, I could fire whirl them. What do you think about that? Either that or try the antipod with the girls. You mean what they're weak against? Well, is this a physical or a magical attack? That's what I don't know. I'm gonna try. Well, you two, you can do your antipod bomb. That was shitty against them, yep. So, total destruction, I'm sorry. Yeah, Luca's female, she's the geeky girl. Didn't you see, yeah? Ow! Ah, they're not in a direct line. You know what? I have magic. Fucking lightning. Eat that, motherfucker. Look at that. Well, you can't see it because he was at the top of the screen. But I struck him with lightning. Thunder. Oh. Uh, skip her for now, but fire. There are two rooms, huh? Ether, yeah. Which uh, reminds me, I should probably heal them. Yeah, Re go and rest our heroes. Dex. Or a whirl. Oh, you can't do that. Well. Yeah, we'll do the next battle then. Let's check that room out. Ah! <laughs> the face is just... what the fuck? Ah, oh, you little bitches. Everything is expensive with Chrono. Here, lightning on this guy. Fuck you, guy. if they stayed in the line move a little there we go two for one yes because that magic only works when they're in line Oh, uh, confused? Nope. I think they put me to sleep. Shit! Ha! Huh? No one stupid raid! <laughs> raid chopper! Thank you! Thank you! I don't even know what to, I I never tried this, like, live, but... Thank you, no one. That's also not stupid, or is, I'm not sure. <laughs> welcome Raiders, welcome. Uh, let me give it let me give you a shout out. Carter! Hello Carter. Plenty stupid. <laughs> uh No. And work. Ah Elden Ring. Yeah, I 
were you live all this time? Because when I got up this morning, you were live. Uh, usually when I get up, I see who's on. Before I start working, I host friends and then I'm off to work. And I know you were on... Oh, Jesus Christ, 10 hours. Wow. Woo-wee. Well, welcome, welcome, everyone. I'm Hippie Tesla. I do retro streams. Genuine console, if possible, for Chrono Trigger, because it never came out in Europe on Super Nintendo. We're doing the PC version, but uh, made it look the most Super Nintendo as possible on PC. Uh, but still, 10 hours. My ass would fall off. Hats off to you, sir. Raiders here too? What do you mean? <laughs> Where did you come from, Carter? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? God damn it. Corton eyed Carter Row? <laughs> so we're doing Chrono Trigger. Uh, we're in the village of. We're in like chapter 6, 7, I think. Village of Magic. This is the third translation of this game, so I can't catch heads and tails. Like. Some some terms were changed, so I'm not sure what's what is it called. Hecron Cave, Hecron Cave yeah, but I mean uh, the chapter. But that's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, you know how there are many ways to end this game, and you can fight Lavos in different eras to finish it. So it all depends where you went. I like the my first playthrough, the one I didn't finish on Super Nintendo. I had it for like for four weeks, maybe the game. Um, the <laughs> it was how, how do I even explain I tried to beat him too early because I wanted to see the ending of the game the next time I played the Playstation 1 version and I was very patient so I, I thought like deep just before the final boss mm, where do I want to fight him in the present, in the future, in the past in the super past, in the super future in, in the apocalypse time I forgot, I, I don't remember what I chose, but, you know, it. I tried several things until I finally did it, so it's, depending on the level up, it's not easy, man, but I hear you. Have you ever heard of the old PS1 game, Blood Omen? <laughs> no, I, this just sounds, sounds like a stupid blood, Omen, and it's blood, and how original. <laughs> What was I doing? There are, there are bats. Okay, bats. Can I allure bats? They're bats. I doubt it. Aura will heal us. Which is what I want, but Chrono is fucking asleep, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna heal him for now. Yeah, flamethrower. It works on these two, because they're in a straight line. Chrono, wake up, man. Oh, she's gonna sleep too ish. Nope, missed. Stupid bats. Did you just wake me up? Nope, they didn't. I can antipode them with Luca and Marla together, but I think they just woke up Chrono. Shouldn't have done that. Maybe just attack. Let's see. One. Oh. It has to be magic. It just has to be magic. Just freeze him to death. If that doesn't work, we'll just burn him with a flamethrower. He's dead, Jim. Magic scoff. What does magic scoff do? Oh wait, maybe I should check the inventory first. Uh, what is magic scoff? Adds two to magic, okay. So... Sword? Do I wanna put that on someone? He has the power glove, which makes sense. She has the ribbon, which makes sense. She has headband. Do I want speed or magic on her? What's her speed? She's very slow, I think. 7, 8, 12. Uh, she is slow. But 2 plus magic, that's not bad. 
Ha! Huh, okay, for this dungeon, I want to add magic. I want to add magic to her, because she doesn't need accuracy. We're not using physical attacks here, but I got to remember to revert there. There we go. All done. Bob's your uncle and all that. It's a game about this guy who can change his fate by drinking blood. <laughs> That's the best explanation uh, of Blood Omen I ever heard. Yeah, they're bats. It's just... No. <laughs> it's it's Super Nintendo 16-bit uh, sound effect, so it's the best they could do. Things will sound like that. <laughs> Off a little. But if you played enough Super Nintendo, it just... Oh, wait. I see it. I see the save thingy. Okay. Not yet, I guess. It, you know, you kind of expect it. More ambush. Damn this cave. It's the roly-poly. <gasps> if I can do an antipod here, it would be glorious. Just as long as they don't move too much. Yeah. Stay like that. Okay. Three for three. Sure. And then he can do a wind slash. Fuck yeah! In damage? Oh yeah. Well, they said humans can't go here because they don't have the magic. And they were like, hmm, you have magic. Well, that's not good. Oh, uh, more bats. Are we good? Damn. We're good. Goddamn bats! Can I wind slash them? Oh, nice! I like when they're in a straight line. But, 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 let's wait for them to fill up. I want to see if the fire whirl will be handy here. Still can only get two, but why not? Oh, that got him. Okay, I know what I'm going to do next round. As long as they don't move too much. And they had to move. You bastards! I'm going to need that aura of whirl right about now. So I need Chrono and Marla ready. Heal, everyone! And now... Uh, well, my intention was in the right place. Wait, I can let them move a bit. Move, come on. Yes! Yes! This is your downfall. That worked in my favor. Humans. <laughs> welcome, Delmar. Welcome. Cave Owl. Bob is my uncle. You're right. <laughs> Wait, really? It reminds me a lot of Star Ocean. Caves, open chests, fighting enemies, people walking. <laughs> like, you just quoted any JRPG ever. But I do love the, f the battle system in Chrono Trigger that uh, enemies will move around and you can use that to your advantage because different attacks have different fields of effect. Some just affect one enemy, some go in a straight line, some go in an area of effect. Um etc. There are many different attacks and you can combine two characters skills as you've seen like uh, Lucas Fire and Chrono Sword that kind of stuff. It's really strategic. Uh, one of one more of those crackpots. It's a crackpot! Wind Slash should take care of these two. Fuck yeah. Just freeze it to death, I guess, so it doesn't spew more enemies. A flamethrower should be enough for that. I don't even have to, so... Advantage of uh, Luca is, unlike Marla, who starts with ice, well, after she got magic, which is now, uh, Luca can use her fire before getting magic, because she's techy, so she basically uses a flamethrower. But she can also use fire spell. Ooh, a time chest. So these are chests that we can't open 
yet, but once we get the ability to open them, it matters where, when you open them. So right now we're in the year 1000, and if we open them in the furthest past, like is that the, the what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the earliest era we can access, they'll be gone from all the subsequent, subsequent, subsequent eras. Mm -hmm subsequent eras thank you love but if we start from the furthest future and then work down the timeline they'll still be there and we can keep taking the items because well they weren't taken before and we probably create several timelines like that but who cares chrono cross will resolve that that's not our issue right now timelines and shit right now we're just saving the world kitty sorry i gotta move up oh, up oh, up oh. here we go what's going on in the chest Chast chat. Forgot to add that it doesn't suck. <laughs> what doesn't suck? Reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy caves of chest fighting enemies, people walking. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Both are lovely series, though. Sadly, I was JRPG burnt out by the time I started getting into Star Ocean. Oh, I really want to get into Star Ocean. Another raid! Just raid after raid after raid! Just, just, thank you! Who's that sexy Wesky? I need better glasses. Wesky, welcome! Welcome, Wesky! Welcome, Raiders! Thank you, Wesky, and welcome, Raiders, and welcome, Wesky, and thank you, Raiders. And all of those combinations. Uh, gotta do it for Wesker manually, because Twitch doesn't like Korean script. Prof. Wesker Cho. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. I, I just think of Johnny Bravo immediately. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Resident Evil 6. Actually, Resident Evil 6 has a good title screen. I'm not gonna lie. That's a good title screen. And great title screen music. So, how was RE6? Wesker! <laughs> Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this stream for the time being. <laughs> Kun, hello Kun, Wesky, who else is there? Sexy Wesky brought the people to the Chrono Trigger. So welcome Raiders, this is Hippie Tesla, me. I'm doing uh, retro streams from retro consoles, but once in a while we gotta do it on PC. So yeah, mostly console retro streams on OG hardware. Uh, and yeah, th that's about it. Welcome to Chrono Trigger. We're not too far into the story yet. Uh, played Mercenaries. Uh, I saw both you and Kun playing. Because when I was booting this, I'm playing this on Steam. It showed me, your friends are playing Resident Evil 6. I was like, oh, thank you, Steam. Thank you for telling me. It's going great. I, I love Chrono Trigger. This is like the, the time travel franchise. Defending from <laughs> Carter <laughs> there. But uh, yeah. Oh, I so want to play Sweet Home. I so want to play Sweet Home. Yeah. The progenitor to Resident Evil. Mmm. I, uh, I watched a friend play it uh, on stream here, and it's totally up my alley. It's horror and RPG, JRPG. Fuck yeah. I'm glad you think that. Yeah. Uh, what is SNES? Sweet Home or, or Chrono Trigger? I do need to I do need some water though. I'm I've been I'm, my my throat is burned out burnt out from constant talking. Ah uh, then you probably mean uh Chrono Trigger because unfortunately Sweet Home isn't legendary. I I I, I would love to play it though because yeah fan translation on first smartphone huh ah oh, <laughs> that's sad carter that's sad um i recently watched watched bounding gray uh play it i think it was the emulator um, emulated nes version but it, it's fan translated so yeah i i really want to do that but uh, i want because it's me i want to do it properly so i want one of those NES flashcards, just pop it into my NES, well, into the top loader because it can load any region games and just go with it. Uh, what was I doing here? But yeah, Chrono Trigger. 
amazing. Chrono Cross, well, to me, even better, but we'll see. I mean, it's been 11 years since I played Chrono Cross, so can we go up the stream? No. Upstream, downstream. Does it change? Does the water actually push me along? Yep, there's water resistance, at, at least it seems that way. Ha! Ah. Maybe something underneath? No. Nothing? Nothing. So now we're gonna probably have a battle or something since there's a save point here. You know what? It would be smart to use one of these. I'm not buying them for nothing. And then save. Whew. USB NES controller for phone. Yeah, you have, Lubka, you have all the, any controller you want can be. Either you can manually convert it into USB uh, via different, different uh, gadgets, or, or you can, um, or yeah, you can buy or make an adapter for that to become reality. But yeah. All right, folks, it's time for the IP switch. Well, no, I'm not going to take a break. Sorry. So I'm not taking a break, I think. No, there's no need to, really. So just fuck it. IP will switch in about a minute. I'll see when that happens, so I'll just stop talking and I'll crank up the stream again. <laughs> uh, so don't go anywhere. I'll, I'll be back in like a second because that's just how my internet works right now. It ch changes its IP address every two hours and there's nothing I can do about it. What's with the frame rate though? It's about 56, 40, 56. Why? Switch, 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 switch. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's LTE or 4G. It's basically mobile internet. I have a, one of those modems with a SIM card. Oh, is it happening? I'm never sure when the when the frame rate starts dipping like this, but yeah. You know what? I'm gonna close this. That should help. 57 frames. 58. Oh, here we go. It dropped. It dropped from the face of the earth. But why such high CPU usage is what I don't get. Well, while we wait for that to reconnect, I'm gonna grab myself a um, uh, a bottle of water, a little bottle of water, just a little bottle of water. All right. Are we back? Yep, we're back. Back in action. What is going on with that frame rate? Just stay at 60, motherfucker. Right, I guess. Whatever's happening is lowering it. Switch is engaged. Yeah, so... Uh, what should I call you for short so I don't have to say no one's stupid every time? No one or stupid or, or NS? NS sounds good. Yeah. Um, so... 24-hour IP switches are normal. That's your standard dynamic IP. So you, most ISPs require you to pay. Here it's about five dollars for um, for uh, for a static IP, which I used to have in my old old home, mostly because well for a lot of things, but mostly for a Resident Evil outbreak, so I wouldn't have to log in every day. Uh, but for other things too, that that was my primary thing. But now, because we don't have, in this new home, we don't have, the ISP doesn't want to spend money for one customer to expand, to, to expand, yeah, expand the network of uh, uh, fiber optic cables. I'm stuck on this for the time being, so yeah. Uh, and it happens. All right.
constantly fighting to keep the frames. I don't know why. Normally it's on pure 60, but now I noticed my CPU is at 45%. What is going on? Unless something's updating in the background, there's no reason for it to be like that. But whatever. Let's just go. We're about to fight someone, I believe. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, you know you can use these now, Carter? So this magic thing, the Xbox Series X controller, it works on uh, Xbox consoles, of course, but not just the newest Series X. It works on... Uh, it works on... Um, for all from Xbox One, first model, first model of Xbox One, not the very first Xbox, to the newest one, like Series X. Works on PC uh, and works on phones because it, all, it has... Uh, USB, it has Xbox protocol, wireless protocol, and has Bluetooth. So you can pair it with like pretty much anything. Uh, right now, I'm using the Xbox dongle, like the USB thing that you plug into the PC, just because the Xbox protocol is realistically a lot better than Bluetooth, longer range, less lag, and all that. But you could, I could just pair it with a laptop with one button and whoop! The, a brand new one was how much? That was an investment, I remember. I think it was like, I'm going to say around 60 euros. But don't hold me to that. Things are more a little more expensive here because of import tax. Yeah, but there are ways to find it a lot cheaper. Plus there are third-party companies that make... Um, that make... Um, they make license controllers that work with the same... So they have Microsoft license to make the same controller, but it's a lot cheaper. How the, I can't guarantee the quality. This controller has fucking excellent quality. It's light yet heavy enough that you feel it. It's got like these little serrated things, so it feels better. It's good for my large hands. My hands are fucking huge. Fingers, I can't use touch screen because of them. And uh, the sticks are excellent quality, which I really like. The the D-pad is even concave, so it's, you know, your finger kind of fits into it even again my huge thumb so like my thumb just covers it that that's it but it still works so it's like from gigantic hands but also for smaller hands mm. yeah ooh handhelds what was you yeah, I love handhelds as well, Carter. I, I'm a, Game Boy was my first legit console. I had like Famiclones, but the first like original, let's say, console I owned was a Game Boy, a black and white Game Boy. Then a Game Boy Color for a while until a friend's mom smashed it on the <laughs> on the floor, and then after that I got another Game Boy and a Game Boy Advance SP. But I uh, gave that to a friend because I got a Nintendo DS that also plays S. Uh, Game Boy Advance games, though it doesn't play all the previous Game Boy games, which is like, why? So SP is probably the ultimate handheld console. Nice about the phone. I wanted to do that a long time ago. Like, I did that a long time ago, but not, I just, not anymore. Fuck it. Just carry the DS. That's it. Original Game Boy, yeah. Love you, Beck. Can we, can we, can we go? Can we get the show on the road? That to the enemies of the fiend lord, or the fiend? No, a fiend kind. Who is this? What the fuck are you, man? So magic, huh? Let's do a, let's do antipod with the girls. That's like guaranteed to cause some damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Not much. What's their name? Does it even have a name? Mm, Nerid Cyclone. Okay, that's not good. Let's not fuck around. What does a fire world do? And in that time she can heal. 100. That's that good. 
a 100 back. Go ahead, try and tech and see what gets you. What? <laughs> possible, possible. Uh, <laughs> I hear you, Carter. Yeah, on touch screen, no. I played Final Fantasy 3 on my phone on my f last first and last Lumia and I never finished it because I get annoyed after a while every fucking time so I finally got the game on the DS yes you can play it on the touch screen on the DS but fuck touch screen just d-pad and buttons the game is so much better same game even looks worse comparatively on the DS but a lot better to play it that way John Bear welcome John Bear Yeah, yeah, that's, I don't know, maybe there are some games that are better for touchscreen, DS really tried to shoehorn touchscreen into everything, like I said for Zelda Phantom Hourglass, maybe I would bear the game a little better if, if it didn't, you know, if it didn't force me to use touchscreen controls, I, stylus is better than fingers, sure, but I would prefer to use the D-pad, but you know, it's one of those games that doesn't let you do that. In our hand, jambe, jambe, jambe. Keyboard and mouse, boo! <laughs> well, everybody has their preferences. So, yeah, I was just talking about that today with Sasha. It's mind blowing to me how nephew Milos here, he prefers to play GTA games with keyboard and mouse. I would rather have my l arms and legs cut out and like force fed to me than play GTA with keyboard and mouse ever again. It's just, no. <laughs> not, n not on any planet. Antipod bomb, yes, that hurts him a lot. And you do your wind slap. Oh, lightning! Let's see what the lightning does. 300 and then water 2. Oh, geez, water 2. Woo! We're gonna need an aura whirl. Okay, we're dead. He said attack and see what happens. Okay, counter attack stance. So we do need one more pixel. There we go. Woo, that was close. I will need that one more time. But for now, for now, fire. Gotta keep an eye on that counter attack stance. Oh yeah, I gotta wait for her, another, and another one. That expends two of my players, so it's not the best strategy, but... <sighs> He's so fucked. I'm gonna need a mid potion. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I think he just said it. It's the counter-attack stance. Okay, this is the time when we heal and just defend, I guess. Potions. Fuck that. Regular potion. Okay, that was actually pretty fast. Didn't notice. It would take just that short amount of time for that. Okay. Yo, huh? Yeah. That's not good at all. That's why we have these mid potions, I guess.
fire and ice. Mm, another 50 to her. Okay, counterattack stance. So now we do an aura whirl. And we wait. There we go, he's dead. Dead as a dodo. 1500 gold. If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when, the f when he first brought forth Lavos, the world would belong to us fiends now. Grah. And he explodes, implodes, does something, okay. So, they're all banking on that. 400 years ago war, uh, they're trying to say they regret it, I guess. Oh, night. It has a, it has a stylus. Long fingers. I don't get it. What do long fingers have to do with that? Easier to use the keyboard? Jombe, jombe. All right, NS, go sleep. NS, that's gonna be like no one. If I say no one, it's weird. If I say stupid, it's kind of hey, stupid. So. <laughs> well, uh, there, there's Alice Cooper with a song taste with it. It's a good song. Yeah, I remember the song, but still, I don't know. NS, have a good night. Which pixel you play? I play the left pixel. <laughs> this is Chrono Trigger, you uncultured swine. It's one of the best games ever made. <laughs> Novisa NS, yeah. <laughs> I, I know, nephew, but still. Analog sticks. WSD is cool for shooters, but for like anything there where you need to drive a car or anything, nah. It's just... Two states, binary, on or off, versus 255 range of analog. Okay, oh, hey, Luca. So, Magus created Lavas in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavas destroys the planet. If we go to the Middle Ages and stop Magus, can we change history? If we use the gate at the fairgrounds, dot, dot, dot. I think I liked when they had this voice instead. Yeah. Jump in? Not yet. Hold on. Is there something hidden there? You're being smart all of a sudden? How is this game gonna progress? You're being smart at all. Okay, let's jump in. Oh yeah, we're gonna end up in our, on our continent, I think. Oh, that's convenient. Yep, remember the whirlpool? That's what yeah. it was for. Coastal Vortex. Let's save first. Wait, where are mom and dad? Lara! Lara! <laughs> so I just hear Snow Villiers going, Sarah! Luke and Tabin are always off tinkering in their latest invention. Hey, dad! Oh. Tabin, I bought, you, I bought you this apple. I bought you this apple with what we earned today. Oh, you're so thoughtful. Do you remember why he's... He feels guilty. Because oh my god, I remember. Yep, she can't walk. Oh my fucking god! Yep. She's oh alone. She, she, it's hard to see, but she's looking through the window because she can't move. So her only contact with the world is looking through the window. Oh. Yeah, it's chilling. I love how, like, on Super Nintendo, games could be deep and destroy your emotions with pixels oh perfect timing what is that was that 
his voice. <gasps> yeah, he's gonna give her, he's gonna keep making gear for her. Yeah. Dabin's vest. Yeah. Another great invention just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. Hey, Luca. I've been working on some defensive gear for my favorite daughter. I don't know if we missed something. You can, because depending on which story part you are, you can come back and check if he made something new for her. Defensive gear is, you ain't going nowhere, young lady. Look how much better it is. Speed and defense. Right. Better than the titanium vest, damn it. No, I'm trying not to spoil it, because the plot is too good. Yeah, I'm going through the chat now. Through NFS games with keyboard. Oh, that's like when my mom says, uh, or anyone's mom, well, not anyone's, but most, a lot of moms I've heard say, like, we had it the hard way, so don't complain. Well, because you had it the hard way doesn't mean that it's the right way. That, that's my reply to that. I want to watch the world burn. It's funny how they just jump behind him. Yeah. Tabin. <laughs> Why can't she move? Let's just say she had an accident. Let's go to... Wait, that's not my house. Where's my house? I forgot which house is mine. Oh yeah, it's this one here. Chrono's house. Hi, kitty. Mew. Chrono. Oh, Chrono, you had me so worried. They said you were to be executed. Don't worry your mother like that. No. That's what, Mom, I was almost executed. I went through time to fucking past and future and the end of time. And your comment is, don't worry your mother. I was almost beheaded, woman. Rest for a while, yeah. Did they all did they all three fit in his bed? Because that would be some party. Yo, wait, I'm not done with my room. Grams of cat food zero. Wait, what? Was there cat food there before? Can I feed the cat? Because I don't remember that from the original. No, it's not revealed yet. We'll see in the f we'll see later. Can you feed the cat? And I like that it's in grams, not in like fucking what whatever. What's less than pounds? Ounces? Hey there, resident. There once, there was once a great cathedral in the western woods, or so I hear. I wonder what became of it. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't like to know. It was ugly. Residence. Hehehe. <laughs> a man's never too old to collect silver points. Oh, this is after the fair. The fair is past, right? Yeah. Hmm? If you have enough cat food, you'll get more cat. Was that always in Chrono Trigger? Because I don't remember yeah. that. On Super Nintendo? All the colors were Wow. <laughs> and that's new, so I beat this game provisionally twice. I didn't know you can feed the cat or even find cat food. I'm gonna look at the store right now. Who? Ah. Which version are you looking for? Because there are several versions of this game. You have Super Nintendo, PlayStation, the DS. This is actually a port of the DS version. Something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. That always makes me sad for some reason. <laughs> Mock it. Hello, my good chap. Oh, welcome. Come on in and have a... Chrono! Oh, you really saved my neck. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't, weren't for you. 
What did I do for Fritz? Phew, was I ever in a tight spot. I'd gone off on a buying trip thinking I'd show my dad I didn't need him anymore. That was all well and good, but then some soldier showed up and at the inn I was staying to arrest a gang of thieves and mistook me for one of the criminals. They wouldn't listen to a word. I, oh, that's the guy we... That's the guy we released from... Um, from the dungeons. And I think they thought I was him because of the clothes. Because he was me. They wouldn't listen to a word I said. They were going to execute me just like that. So, phew, I owe you one. We're in your debt. Thank you ever so much. Don't tell my dad I gave you these ten meat eaters. Oh my god, Fritz. That's fucking fortune. Hey! Dad. You're not shirking off, are you? I, um, uh, I mean, of course not. No, of course not. Well, all right then. Chrono, I appreciate what you did. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Now, Chrono, down to business, please. Won't you buy something? Well, you gave me everything I needed. Is there cat food? Where the fuck do I f Hmm. Nope. Don't, don't need any of that. Thanks. Bye. Mayor's Manor. What's Mayor up to? There's a special ending with that. Yeah, this game has like 11 endings or something like that. I only got one. Memory of a goldfish. Yeah, can't you see I'm a goldfish? Jeez, get with the times. No, it's not my first visit. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh, okay, yeah, this is the training ground. They, did, uh, they don't have anything new here, I assume. So, I'm just gonna move out for now. What else? True sin? What's going on in the end? I'm just revisiting all the old places just to see uh, if, if anything's new. Oh, you want to play something for me, Sham? Yeah, sure, buddy. Tenji, what that for me? I'm I'm a, almost a millionaire. Thanks. Let me play a song in return. No. Oh. You, you chose a very depressing song to play, man. Like, you could have played any other song from the game. <sighs> Remember that earthquake we had the other day? Ah, uh, yes. <gasps> We've been having far too many lately. Hope it's not a sign of something bad about to happen. <gasps> wink, wink! It's foreshadowing. What if I say no? You're an oblivious one, aren't you? Well, never mind, then. Okay, we have this here. You gonna talk to me, waitress, girl? Welcome, welcome, make yourself at home. I suppose you won't be staying long, though. Oh, I hope you, my ship then soon. I wanna go to the fair, too. Jeez, way to chase the guests out with the depressing song. Residence, market, Where was I here? Yeah, that's the, that's the best years of our lives, residence. And this one is not. What about Lean Square? Where do you get the cat food, though? You play here at the fair? Yeah. You're fucking kidding me! Yeah. But where? Where? Silver points? Can you check that, please? Because I didn't know that exists in the game. I want to see. 2 ounce for the 10 point game, 10 ounce for the What game though? So this is all, this is all new to me. 
But which game though? Uh, how to obtain cat food? I love like that I played this game three times and I didn't know this even exists. How to obtain Fuck I can't type on this. How to obtain cat food. Cat food. Your keyboard is very weird. How to get any of the Norstein Beckler games that fare more than once and he'll give you cat food after the first prize. See, that's the thing. I never played Norstein Beckler games. How would I know that? That's the ghost guy in the tent. I heard the princess snuck out of the castle again. This is Lean Square. Legend has it that people who hear Lean's bell will live happily ever after. Ah, oh, I'm having a great time with you, Chrono. Why are you doing that? Oh, it's is it one of those PC version glitches? She shouldn't be talking about that. Let's play those games. Welcome to Norstein Backler's Tent of Horrors. The spine tingling show is just about to start. How many silver points would you like to spend? Uh, how many silver points do I have? How do I check? So I need silver points for this. Ooh, let's go beat up Gato. That poor robot will hate me. But Or this. One silver point. Two silver points. Damn. Three silver points. Four silver points. Ah. Five silver points. Okay, we got five so far. How do I check how many I have? I know somebody tells me, but I never... I never really did anything at the fair. Forty-five. All right. Nope. Well, let's get more silver points. If he beats the shit out of us, we're gonna see. Gonna lose everything. Fifteen. My name is Gato. I got silver joints. Beat me up and get 15 silver points. Oh, just one. Oh, now, okay, now it's easy to farm them because we're very strong. It was hard at the beginning. Oh no, I have lost. And it seems you won. Here are your 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? That doesn't even rhyme, man. At least I can do the first one in Melody. Talk to me, Gato. Oh, so I gotta get out. It's it's still faster than punching the thing. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. Work on your syllables, man. That's not fair to the robot, really. I still get technical points. That's another 15. Let's get more. That's gonna be 45 and 45, 90. I like how Lucas all happy about it and she made the robot. Okay. So now we should have Lucas bipedal robot battler Gato. You can win silver points if you beat him. There's the old man with the lunch. 90. All right. Now let's go to Norstein Beckler's lab. Tent of Horrors. Wait, it wasn't here. It was oh, the Jungle Dance. 
I always love coming here for the music. This is gonna be relevant later. Hey, they invented Serbian folk music, you can see it. <laughs> I'm being threatened over here, help! <laughs> There's the pussy. Hello, pussy. Pussy. Don't be jealous, there are other pussies in this world. Pussies. John got me into that, you gotta thank him. Alright, guy, I'm ready. So now we gotta f uh, see who's whom against, among Be Big's Wedge and the third guy. So what do you say? Uh, start with 10? Uh, Why? Let's start, let's see all three of them. I never Can played them. Okay. So, because okay, okay. the first game doesn't even give you the cat food, right? Yeah. Keep an eye on them. Biggs, Wedge, Pete, so Pete, Pete or Piet, Big's Wedge, okay, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember, I'll keep an eye on, well, let's we'll just try to keep an eye on them and see who's who, Big's Wedge and Pete. Okay, even if you knew. Yeah, I think so too, nice. Oh, you got me. Poyozo doll, it'll spruce up your room. I never did this. I didn't know this was even in the game. Okay. I was I always thought it was like just dumb games. I wanna play I'm already playing a game. 80. Well let's try 40 now. Or 10 again. We can lose 40 very easily here. Mimic what you see. X, okay, left arm, right arm, left, surprise. Left, right, left, surprise, okay. Wait, but his left or my left? I think it's, it's not your Hold in. Well, we'll see. What? I am left. Double doll to Chronos House. Wait, really? But that I always got that when I needed it in the story. I need to get more points. I would always do that, like when you know. That's the only reason I would come to this tent is later in the story. You need a double doll. I don't want to spoil, but you kind of need Chronos clone to do a certain thing. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. We gotta beat the poor robot a few more times. We're supposed to find out how the fucking planet gets destroyed in the future. Well, we got sidetracked. We're getting cat food now. Sorry, Lau, what did you say? What's one TP? Yeah, that's technical points. That's how you get new skills. So if we go to Tex, he'll get cleave in next 107 actually nothing sorry Oop. nothing for her 
Oh wait, that's that. Those are single. Huh? Never mind. She gets cure in 97, and she gets napalm, napalm in 107. Yeah. Poor Gato. I feel bad for him. Kato. Yeah, 15 every time. No, 15 silver points. That's, the, I don't know, like some... <laughs> so he gives you 15 silver points every time you beat him up. Yeah. But they changed the text there as well, I remember it was different. So if, when I beat him... Hey! I should've went on auto. 10 XP. Because you're supposed to do that at the start of the game while you're still level 1. It's what, 30, 45? I forgot how many times we beat him. They added, the new thing is when you switch to auto battle, it speeds up. You probably noticed. Which is, I guess, okay. I don't like when JRPGs speed up things. Speed things up. I started leaving already. So it's like busy work. I don't feel the achievement. That's why I never did it. It's like, ah, at this point, I could just slap the poor robot. Yeah, it is like a Pokeball. Yeah, but what if I want to make a cat army and send that against Lavos? What then? Don't tell me what I can do. Why? Yeah, why would I do that? That's uh, that's our time vehicle. That's how we go through time. I don't know. I never. This game is huge, and I only got one ending in it. So. Who? I don't know. I didn't even know there were cats in this game. Like to breed. I had my own kitty. My pussy. That's the only one I had. I didn't know you can bring food to cats. Yeah. I never saw that, like, zero grams of cat food. Yeah. Bean bags and push them all the way back into the cage. How do I throw bean bag? A hostage you provide will be slowly lowered into the flames. You can buy... Yeah, I forgot about the voices. You can buy time by hitting the blue light to raise the rope, but let your friend get charbroiled and the game's over. Oh my god, that's brutal, man. What are you, Norstein Beckler? So, um... I'll try. I got a cat. Not cat. Not the cat's food, but the cat. That's not what I wanted, man. Okay, let's try to find Wedge again. You keep an eye on... Who do you want to look at? Biggs or Wedge? Okay, I'll try to focus on one.
Ha, ah, you're the middle one now. Cat food, there we go. Okay. So after first time, you win everything for first. For all of them, yeah. So but my original cat will always be there, right? Let's do one more. Big's wedge or the mimicry? Uh, Let's do the mimicry now, see what happens. Left, right, left, surprise, okay. Starts so slow. Oh. I don't think I have enough points now. Yeah, let's try 10 again for Beg's Wedge. All right. It's hard. It's I think it's the left or the middle. Yeah, okay. Okay, enough for now. More cat food. Yeah. This is interesting, like, when you think you know a game well. Oh, I got another cat. One. One? Really? How? <laughs> you can do all the chrono pose poses. You can set him to a pose. But that's gonna be important later, and this... Oh god, no. That's so sad. I'm gonna eat some chocolate and cry in the corner. I forgot what's the name of the song. Hmm. Or, or drink some chocolate, rather. Hmm. Can I get the tissue, please? It, it's for my mouth. It's not for my tears. I think it's called something like Hope of the Earth or something like that. Well, when you see the entire game, you'll understand. <laughs> and then Chrono Cross, dear God, Shala. I think that's the other, yeah. That's also the melody with which the intro starts, if you've seen the, the intro, the, the animated one. It starts with this melody and then goes into Chrono Trigger. Yeah, let's leave this. It's gonna be hard, so... So, you really have to work hard to keep your cats, huh? Yeah. Oh, Luca, you haven't been coming much lately. I've been busy with my research. Well, don't push yourself too hard and say hello to your parents for me, won't you? I like how mom has a squeaky voice here, but not the... Oh my god, that cat has a stroke. Oh, they're following me. Hello there. I think that's the appeal of cats. They will follow you. That's okay. I like that I've learned that, but uh, what did they say we wanted to do? Uh, the no, they said to go to to the thing in our 
time. Uh, fairgrounds. She said the whole the yeah. teleported to fairgrounds. Oh, this desert will also be important. A lot of things will be important, but let's let's not now. Uh, back in the in our town, the fair, the millennial fair, where I just came from. Now I could visit all these places, but I'm not gonna. I just want to see if there's anything better. No. Or do I? So poor is a big deal town. Poor is important for Chrono Cross. Remember this town, town of poor. I think it's poor. I call it poor. Maybe it's poory. I don't know. Snail stop. Some monsters can coexist with humans. Take that piano player, for instance. I think that's a woman, though. Four centuries ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to revive the great forest that once flourished to the north. It's a sad tale. Important. <laughs> for later. Yeah, this game is like crazy with its plot. And things you don't have to do, but you can still do. Everyone's off to that festival. Bunch of lazy sots. <clears throat> that was my impression of a burp. Oh yeah, I like him. I'm the piano man. What do you want me to play? Something upbeat, please. Thank you. Enough sad music. Well, this was for Johnny's race, right? When we raised Johnny, yeah. I can. I like how he has the whole fucking band on that one piano. Oh, there we go. I got some special, some spice jerky, but I've been shaving it for a spe special occasion. I might let some go for, say, 900, 9,900 G. We'll need that later, but not now. I figured. Yeah, we're gonna need jerky. It's one of the side quests. Yeah, we'll be millionaires by then. Residence. I want to go to the fair too. Gran and Gramps went to the Millennial Fair in Truce. We're keeping an eye on the house. Oh, they're still in Truce? Okay. Well, the fair is still going? I thought it's done. Mayor. Oh, this guy. I hate my dad more than anyone in the whole world. We can change that. His dad can become his hero if we do the right thing. Dad loves money more than he loves me. Well, we gotta affect him in the youth or his ancestors, something like that. I think we gotta change the morals they teach to their children in the past so that he would be a better man. The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. Oh, 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 I run this town and I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give you 10G if you wish to sp if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. <laughs> no, <laughs> your face. I knew it. No, thank you. Boring. Okay, Mr. Snob, I'll see you in the past, or at least your dad or grandfather or something. I can't remember, but I know we affect them. We can change their history completely. Is she crying? Everybody says dad is greedy. That's not true, is it? Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Jesus. Shelter. Yeah, we took a little child's shelter. Oh, what am I doing in this game? <laughs> I'll put it into good use. I'll prevent my friends from dying or something. We gotta look, uh, keep an eye for chests because they're really hard to see sometimes. Nothing to read there. Poor is very important for Chrono Cross because one of the major events, one of the major things that happens that leads to Chrono Cross is that the poor army invades truth. Well, because we change time in this game. It's... Well, we prevent the world from ending, so... You know, it's it was like a necessary evil, so to say. But yeah. They also blame Surge, remember, for living. You're not supposed to be alive. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to think about that now. 
But we'll get that when we get to that game. Very sad stuff. How dare you be alive? So we can take the ferry and, you know, go back to our town if we're crazy to take the ferry. I think it costs money, but I can do it if you want. Here. I just wanted to see how far we can go, but that's it. You can see the whole... We could have gone here at the very start, though. That's also fun to note. I think there's a mountain here. If it's on this continent at all. I don't like this game. <laughs> or is this mountain? Nope. I know we'll have a quest with Frog to... To return his honor. And we'll go to a magic mountain and fight the magic fiend. Really, which mountain was it? Oh! Maybe it was, in, it was in the Middle Ages. Maybe it's not here at all. Let me check one more time. It should be like Mystic Mountain or something. Huh. Nope. Well, let's get on with the plot. Enough. Let's go to the ferry. Hello, Anchi! How are you feeling? Is the fever gone? What's going on? I wanna ride the ferry! I take the ferry every chance I get! Oh, that's a woman too, I'm sorry. I take the ferry every chance I get! How one-way ticket is 10G. You want one? Yeah, it's just 10G, so it's not too much money. I'm just skimpy. Here you go, have a pleasant trip. We go, we go into the ferry, and off it goes, around the world, just 10G for a ferry trip. Man, we could move wherever we wanted with those prices. Ah, can't, can't do this the way I wanted. Stuck chocolate. There, that's better. Free chocolate. And we're in our hometown. Thank you. Jombie? Yes, it's Jombie. It's Jombie. Jombie man. A mysterious whirlpool sometimes appear near here. What do you suppose could cause such a thing? Well... It brings monsters. Oh, thank you. So this is like a faster way to get home. Now, they said fairgrounds. Let's go see fairgrounds. First save. I spent 40 minutes dicking around with cats. There was a big war! Hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's armies, my mom said if we'd lost, we wouldn't be having a fear like this today. Well, yeah, that's why they're having a fear. That's like the victory over the fiends. And there's the lean bell that they uh, named after Marla's ancestor that they put up to commemorate. Ancestor. I don't know what to s what to say. This is the first day without high fever after four days, so it's better. Oh, nice! Good to hear. Good to hear. <laughs> yeah, you must be exhausted after f four days of fever. I would probably be in tears. Chug contest. Oh, there's your cat right there. You brought back my kitty, thank you! Ah, we'll chug another time. Let's go to the portal. To another time. We should end up in the Middle Ages, I think. No, we should end up, end up at the end of time. Yes! We got two new portals now. One that takes us to Lean Square 1000. So we have Medina Village, Medina, I said we have 
Medina Village, 1000 AD. And we have Lean Square, 1000 AD. Then we have Mystic Mountains, 65 million years BC. And we have yeah, Protodome, 2300 AD. And... And... Truce Canyon, 600 AD. Okay, that's where we want to go. But first, there's the heal bucket. There it is. What does he have to say? Okay, he's asleep. Okay, so to the Middle Ages. Oh, nice. So, I see what this update did. So now, as far as running goes, you can hold the button to run and then release it to walk, but you can also tap it and you'll continuously run until you press it again. Mm -hmm. That's cool. If I do this... Ah, so close. Wait, Cyclone. Fuck you, birds. Yes, pussy. He knows why I said that. I don't know who. Like, who knows what you said what? If it even concerns me. This is TC Mopul Pluchox, never have this one. Pazi, ja kad sam imao pol pluća, nikad mi nije nisu bojala pluća. Samo sam otišao kod doktora i poslušali su bili su u fazoru. Jep, da, to je upala pluća. Uh, imao sam temperature 42, najveća je bila kad sam halucinirao. Ali, to treba, mislim, ne znam, trebalo bi doktor da zna čim te posluša, da li imaš upalo poluće. Ali ako imaš bol u grudima, to nikako ne valja. Kašli ćeš i imaš bol. Znači, možda bude i virus na upalo poluće, pazi, ja sam imao pet upalo poluće u životu. Da, Euromedic je sjajno opremio, oni sve mogu da vide. Ovej. Ehh. Imao sam i virusne, i bakterijske, i svakakve upale pluća, tako da svaka je drugačija od predike. A, ne bi imala, da, ja nikad nisam imao bolu plućima, samo kašljao sam mnogo. Imao sam bol od kašlja u grlu i strašna temperatura, ali da, to bi bilo upale pluća. E sad, upale pluća možda bude od bilo kog virusa koji izaziva upale pluća, uključujući i koronu, tako da ne znam. Stavno ne bi trebalo doktor nešto ti kaže. Od gripa ili od korone? Da, ok. Mislim i korona je gripa. Da, mi smo se raskašljali strašno u posljednje vreme. Niko nije imao temperaturu, bar neko koji ja znam. Ali baš smo se raskašljali. Šta? Ja ne znam od kada je ovo počelo, brate. Da, ali također u to vreme se ostavilo pušenje, tako da ne znam. Stvarno ne znam. Nisam obraćao pažnju, da sam obraćao pažnju znao bi, ovako nisam biti kurac kašljenja i svega. Oh, užas. Drago mi je familija mi je tu cela. Što smo učinili ovdje, ne znam. Wind slash. Pilaf je biti dik. Round Dilla Rider.
I like the old names. Why did you have to change the enemy names? Roly Poly was a nice name. Ah, oh, I love this music. Welcome to Middle Ages. Now it's a canyon. Which is weird. How, like, how did they... In 400 years, did they like dig through a mountain to make a fairground? So now we want to go to... Ah, oh, Lucas' house is gone. Well, it's not there yet. See that black forest in the middle? That's where we need to go. But... I think we need to go over Zenon Bridge, that's it. The runners say the Fiend Lord's army has reached Zenon Bridge. What will happen now, I wonder? There's not to worry about, the heroes come to save us. There's no doubting it, he bore the hero's badge. Ah, it will be nice to have peace in the realm again. I like how their speech changes throughout time. Market. Hello, my good man. You didn't come all this way just to look, did ya? Surely there's something you'd like to buy. Well, I don't think you have anything I need. Wait, shelter. I have ten. Okay. Ten. Fourteen. That would be cool to have at least six more, yeah. Potion. Yep. My thanks, do come again. This is tough. Da, ne mogu svi da, nemaju svi snimanje pluća. Oof. Ko zna, možda je ovaj posljednji, kako se zove, Omikron? Mada smo mi već, ja mislim da smo imali Omikron, ali okej. Samo da nema temperature, brate. Da, da. To je glavno. Život je mnogo lakši od kad nema temperature. Šta više živi se? Ej, čekaj, čekaj, čekaj. Did they just add running on the map? Or is it just me? It's so weird. Why can't I move? You, you shouldn't be able to move diagonally on the map. That's new. Because in the original you could just move like this. That's so weird. Look, look at this. <laughs> Looks like they're crazy. Have you heard? He's come at last. The hero. The legendary hero. He's gone to see the king already. Now the fiend lord has a chance. Oh, well, that's important. They say even the king himself has was wounded. Is this the end? The hero has come. He'll save us. The hero has come. He'll save us. Is the talk true? I heard the Fiend Lord's army has broken our line and taken the bridge. Oh, now we can go to the bridge to fight. Sir, please, will you talk to me, sir, please? Please, sir. Uh, may I have a drink, sir? Nope, they're not gonna talk to me. Never mind. Gesundheit. <laughs> So, I think we need to go to poor now in Middle Ages, and that will kick off the next plot thing. Oh, they're making the lean bell, look. They're, it's, they're making it right now. Just as I was preparing to put the finishing touches on lean's bell, our king was wounded by Magus's fiend in battle. See, Magus's with a S after the apostrophe? Bad. It's enough to make a man lose his will to work. So again, if we don't fix this, there's never gonna be a lean's bell, there's never gonna be like a festival, and you know, it can really fuck things up. So we gotta keep the timeline intact. Or at least navigate it the way we want. I hope this bell will ring in an age of peace. Well, just before the apocalypse, yeah, sure. We've been to the market.
Oof. Ti jebi ga, Anči, moraš da vidiš to. Mislim, moraš da proviš s doktorom, ono, sa doktorom, sa pravim doktorom, koja će nešto da uradi. Ja reka neću zaboraviti kad si... Oh, the hero appears, new chapter. Kad si išla sa nečime do lekara i one... Ove... Da li su sumnjali sad da li je bilo grip ili boginje Lupiću i tata te je vodio i onda je ona sestra iskočila i kad su joj rekli da imaš to možda što imaš, ona je rekla juh i pobegla. Jesus Christ. Pa pazi, Ana, temperatura može zavisi od osobe do osobe. Nekome traje dva dana, nekome traje nedelju dana. Neni su ubele da traju po nedelju dana, kao što se sjećate, verovatno. Where are all the enemies gone now from the forest? Oh, did we clean the forest? Oh, shit, I had to do it. Oh, it's a chicken. The enemy dropped the shelter. All right. Why was it a chicken? Why did the chicken hide in the bush? I had to touch it. I just had to touch it. Yeah, they're too weak for us now, so anything will kill them. Still get 4 TP. This is good for grinding TP if I want to get skills faster. I love this music. I don't know what's the name of the track, but it's pretty damn good Guardia Castle Yeah, that's interesting. It's how it's foggy in the Middle Ages. Halt, who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Oh. Wow, that was The Fiend Lord's troops threatened to break us, but now the hero has appeared. We are saved. The hero, he passed by on his way to seek audience to, with the king. Yeah, let's find the king then. Lord Chrono, the great hero has appeared from the very pages of legend. He arrived not long ago and then left to meet the king. Where is the king? Oh, he left to the Zenon Bridge? Queen Lean has been at His Majesty's bedside night and day. Oh, he's sick. His Majesty is recuperating in bed. Oh no, he, he got hurt in the battle. Yeah, they said that. Is this the way to his room? Oh, wow, wow. oh. To je što smo pili, jel da? Upocije me na loša vremena. I'm so ashamed. I gave that boy the boot thinking him no more than some peasant brat. How was I to know he was the legendary hero? Even still, he forgave me. Compassion to rival courage. A hero indeed. They all have deep voice, I decided. Our king fought bravely against the fiend lord's troops, leading charge after charge. Had he not received word of the hero's arrival, he may well have fought to his death. Should we check the kitchen first? Yeah, with I, how, how, is, how is ice cream doing? Did they invent ice cream yet? So, Carter, for... for um, uh, context, when Marla, our party member, ended up in the middle ages here at the start of the game uh, she asked for ice cream because she looks like her ancestor queen aline they thought it was her while the real queen was missing so uh, so if we didn't jump in to save her they would kill the real queen and therefore you know marley would cease to exist but we fixed that but anyway while marley was here being treated as a queen uh, she asked for ice cream and the cook was like what is this ice cream? Like, ice cream <laughs> that the queen wants me to make. 
The master of kitchen has his hands full trying to get food to the front lines while making sure the king keeps up his strength. Oh, he's dashing. We must help the king maintain his stamina. We must hurry with the provisions for Zenon Bridge as well. Is this food for the king? Oh, fit for the king. Come on now, time is wasting. What about ice cream, man? Did you learn to make ice cream? How many eyes do you want for that cream, sir? I love how things have cause and effect here. How you can really fuck things up. You can still finish the game, but you won't be as happy. The commander has gone to Zenon Bridge. Sorry, pussy. The wounded from the battle there are resting down below. Oh, <laughs> you just fucking put them on the floors. Beg pardon, my lord. The beds are all taken. Oh, so you can't rest now. That's a good touch. Ugh. Ugh. Please, please. <laughs> Even the commander himself has gone to the front lines to fight. Ugh. Come on now, your king is wounded too, but he has not given up. They, they say the hero has come. You mean the hero cometh? The food supplies are being rationed on the front lines. There will soon be none left. This, like this music and uh, this track and uh, the uh, level really reminds me of Pugsy for the Mega Drive. Did you play Pugsy? Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to play that again. Sir King, here I am. Queen Lean will collapse if she does not get some rest. Sir Cyrus must have sent that boy to us. <gasps> Is it Glenn? Oh, Chrono, have I grown too old for all this? With Sir Cyrus nowhere to be found, all our hope rests on the shoulder of that boy who bears the hero's badge. He has gone to the southern continent now to search for the sword that can slay Magus. Yep. So... Glenn and another name. So, if I'm not mistaken, he should be frogs something something. Oh, we have a hydrate. Does hot chocolate count into hydration? Ugh. Well, let me see what I missed. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. That's why I asked him, can I do it with hot chocolate? Uh, no work this week. Uh, you shouldn't work next week, really. Seriously. Missing up. Never throw the rice slice there. It's fun. Bardvene, there is upula plucha. Upula plucha pro here, so pneumonia pro, pneumonia, pneumonia veteran, like five or six pneumonia veteran. Um. Nikotinapus lose a bit of it. Tisimidalato. She she took a deep breath. Nisu mi još nije tvorili jer država. Zašto ste me sad bacili na rodnjak mod? Nemoj da me golica šljubo. Kako me uči i ovan, ovako. Ga se krstiš i levom i desnom. How you kind of choke me with paper? There, hydration. I go in order. Needs to totally trim some balls now. Lebati, Pugsy. Yeah, I will stream Pugsy. So David provided uh, Mega Drives, and um, and then. Uh, I'm gonna. I just need to find the Pugsy cart and I'll do it. Ah, I, I swear to God, I'll do it, Joe. 
<laughs> yeah, they're talking about peace coins. Please use the proper vernacular. Peace coin sisters. Um. Zombie still here? Why are you holding your head, man? You have a headache from all the Serbian? <laughs> Pugsy? Yeah, I will stream Pugsy. Uh, I said I will stream, definitely stream Pugsy because David provided Mega Drive. So as soon as I get a Pugsy cart and sometime in the future I will stream Pugsy and don't worry, you, you two will know. <laughs> okay, I guess I need to. <laughs> some water. No, no, some water. <laughs> no, no. You gotta do it like, like Kevin and PC. No, no, no. And then I say it's my fault. <laughs> here, I can read something here. Oh no, it works better in Serbian than in English. But yeah, the the. Serbian folk voice. <laughs> you remember Pugsy? Dead Pugsy? What? Yeah. You mean the Pugsy? Yeah, doesn't this really like. Like, both the music and the textures and everything reminds me of Pugsy here. Uh, specifically, the Redwood Castle level. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, we interrupt the music. We interrupt this music to bring you the Guardia Forest. Up and down and left and right. Less enemies this time around, though. Extermination works. Will the enemy leave something else for me? A shelter. Every time... Oh, that's not a chicken. That's one of those monkey things. Okay, so I can get a free shelter here every time. Pretty cool. If you're cheap, they want to buy your shelters. Let's go to Zenam Bridge. So, if you watched in the, well, the first two episodes and now, if you watch the intro that I play every time and the animated Akira Toriyama intro. Um, did I say Akira Yamaoka earlier? It's possible. Akira Yamaoka is another guy. Uh, it's, for, it, it's the Silent Hill composer, so I apologize if I did that, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, Akira Toriyama, the Dragon Quest <laughs> slash, slash, thank you, love. Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball uh, creator and animator, he did art for this game uh, as it's evident and it's very evident in the uh, opening cartoon FMV anime movie. So uh, yeah, you can see Chrono and Frog doing an X-Strike dual, uh, dual tech on a huge skeleton on a bridge, or in a rainy bridge. You're gonna see that in the game. I think she confused it with Pugsley, the character from the Adams family. No. No, he's not pink, he's orange. No, he's he's orange, most definitely. Yeah, we're gonna see. So all the scenes from the intro, sis, are... Where the fuck did you get that? Squid, just squid, okay. No, he's orange, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> go go and look up. He's pretty much orange. The orange is the color of Pugsy throughout the game, but specifically the character is very orange. Um, you, so all the scenes in the intro are scenes from a game here and there. And we're now about to see. Note how we couldn't we could freely cross the bridge in the present, but now we can because we gotta really we gotta do something here. We've no more foodstuffs. Would that our strength were enough to best the Fiend Lord's army? But alas, our only hope lies with the hero. Our provisions. Our provisions are depleted. Have the supplies still not arrived from a castle? We'll starve at this rate. So I can bring them food, I think? We sent our orders finest knights to march on the enemy in order to ensure the hero's safe pass passage. <laughs> passage. 
I thought those stories of the hero who would come bearing the badge no more than bedtime tales. But now he's come and there's little to do but trust in him. Why are you blinking, Chrono? Did you see that? He just looked at the at us and was like, "What the fuck did I just hear?" No, he was like, like the guy, like the whole guy, you know, like the meme guy, you know. I'm gonna dig with this hole here. <laughs> Could the hero alone truly have the power to defeat an army of fiends? Uh, you said that. So you two have the same text? Is that what I'm... That's what I'm getting here. Are you twins? Oh. It appears our men and the fiend lords are locked in battle upon the bridge. May we emerge victorious. I guess I can bring them food. Let's go bring them food. Get another free shelter. Because why not? The monster is going to drop it every time. I'm going to take it every time. Try to avoid any enemies. There's nothing to level up here. Except maybe techs, but yeah. Okay, let's. We need the kitchen, which is where again? Right here? Yeah, right here. I think. Oh, hey, Gavin! Hello! Welcome to the stream! How are you, Gavin? Maybe my TV was shitty. <laughs> Or CRT monitor. Yeah, if you played on a, if you tried it on an emulator, uh, they can mess up colors, or you need special, like settings sometimes. Especially since Bugsy is a weird game, so if you, it's weird. It's got a brilliant like anti-piracy piracy thing. You try playing it on an emulator uh, because the, the ROM was set up to tell the the, the console or emulator that it has. A save battery, it's like a save battery back save or a, or SRAM, static RAM chip, which it doesn't. It uses passwords. But anyway, the emulator will try, it, will read that and be like, okay, save, make a save file, and then the game, once you reach, like not immediately, once you reach like the fifth level or something, it'll be like, it'll check for that. If it finds a save, which it shouldn't have, it'll be like. Stop playing this silly copy and buy the legit game, will ya? <laughs> and it'll block you from playing. <laughs> Love that. Good to hear, Gavin. Good to hear. Okay, we need the food. We must help the king maintain his stamina. Must hurry with the provisions for Zenon Bridge as well. Food fit for... Yeah, but give me the food, man. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty? Oh, yeah, he has deeper voice. Hmm. Serves him right, thinking you m men with swords are the only ones protecting this kingdom? Enough of that. Oh, she's his wife? Are you ever going to set aside your petty feud? You've grown men. Act like it. I'm trying to give him, like, medieval accents and female voices. Dot, dot, dot. Mind your own business. What do you know of it anyway, Grumble Grumble? Uh, they may have, may have updated this. I wouldn't be surprised if he said something like, Mind your own business, woman, or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised. 2022, they could have updated totally. So, uh, food, please? Bye! Come on now, time is wasting. Alright, Mishko. Uh, Mishko, fugitive. Thanks for dropping by, really... Happy to see you. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you soon and all that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go there. Oh, here we go. Wait! Pantwees. Take this for the troops! Spice jerky. Oh, here we go. Spice jerky. It's very prized in these regions. And this is for you, here. Strength capsule. Oh, nice. We have a lot of those now. Thank you, man. 
When you see that fool brother of mine, tell him he had better come back alive. Aww. That's cute. Oh wait, free shelter. I don't know why that guy has so many shelters, but good on him. Off he goes. Alright, Zenon Bridge time. Oh, they're dead already. I just left for five minutes, guys. Jesus Christ. Okay, now let's see. So it doesn't have any description. What about how many magic capsule? One, three strength capsules. Okay, I'll save him for now, still. It seems mere men haven't the strength to stop these fiends. With no more foodstuffs. Foodstuffs, that's so weird. The hero reached the far bank, but our men suffered heavy losses in the crossing. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, the, the, like, look how beautifully drawn that is. The Fiend Lord has sent in reinforcements. It's far too dangerous to allow you through. Okay, but I can talk to him, right? He's the he's the cook's brother, I think. I just want to see the sunset, man. Lord Chrono, what word? Give him the food? No! <laughs> Don't give him the fucking food. Oh yeah, Echo will come too. As soon as I get both games. Well, I have them on Steam, but yeah. I would love to do that on the actual Mega Drive. Also, David would sh shit his pants from happiness if I did that. Food! He's brought us food! It was my brother! I see! He saved us all! Okay, it's time for action. Lord Chrono, if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. You just needed some jerky, spice jerky, to feel better. What's happened? Here we go. Margus's troops have launched their attack. Our defenses will not hold. You are Knights of Guardia. Defend the honor of our order and drive the enemy back whence it came. But we are far unnumbered. This is our last line of defense. It must not break. So wait, 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 wait. If they want because I brought them spiced jerky, that means... Yeah, that's like... No, 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 I mean, before we even went through time, how did they win initially? Something else must have happened, because this is not Legacy of Kane. You can pretty much change time, so... I wonder what happened. Very well, my lord. As you can see, Lord Chrono, it's all my man can do to hold this line. Might you lend your blame to our battle as well? It's Japan, they can fight since they're 10. Like, 10 years old. Off you go, save the world. Yeah. You have my most profound gratitude. The Fiend Lord's troops are positioned just beyond the bridge. Take this with you, may it keep you safe. Golden Helm. Well, maybe sell that and fund the war, but okay. Magus's army is a force to be reckoned with. Please be on your guard. Now we can but put the Fiend Lord's army to rout. It seems Mayor Man. Well, no, yeah, we gotta talk to you, man. You don't have anything new. So now we go and fight. March onwards. Ooh, the undead. We're fighting the undead. They killed them. This is Nintendo equivalent of death. They're not coming back. They're dead. 
I'm Ozzy, one of Lord Magus's three generals, and to his enemies, I grant death. Ah, too bad Milos went, went away, he will love this. So, Magus has three generals, and they're all named after rock metal uh, musicians. Ozzy, uh, Flea, Flea, and, and, I forgot the third one, damn it, I forgot who the third one was. But yeah. Metroid. Metroid 2, though. Now I have Metroid 1, 2. I don't have 3 yet, but Mika could borrow that to me. Uh, with, uh, or with Metroid 3, which is Super Metroid. I have Metroid Prime 1 and 2, but not Fusion yet. I'll get Fusion. Slash, that's right. Slash, Flea, and Ozzy. Yeah, I'm glad you think that. So remember Ozzy the Eighth in, in in this era in 1000 we met his ancestor his descendant in one of the houses at the start of the stream when we came out of the, the wardrobe yeah there was when they said he's using his ancestor's name to no he looked pretty much like this but he had small little guys making up his room when I was joking about that so they said he's using his ancestor's name but he's nothing as his ancestor was that's the ancestor they meant. Go, my children. Take take them to their graves. Wow, heavy words for a Nintendo game. Oh, I can do all three with the wind slash? Cool, I want to see that. And then... Oh, you're going to fight him several times. He's going to escape like a little bitch every time. Ozzy's in a pickle. Uh, that means he's about to run away. Marley got another level. Stronger than I thought. Uh, note his manner of speech. Yeah. I do need to heal a little. More dead soldiers. You can't even talk to these guys. These guys are out. Wait up already. Seems I misjudged you the first time, but I won't do that twice. Oh, and they're gone. They're back as skeletons. Yep, that's what he does. Slay them all! Well, I can still... Are they? I, I really want to know if they're susceptible to actual physical attacks. Nope. Oh, actually, you know what? Bunch up, guys. I have a, I have something cool for you. I'm maybe overusing the antipod, but it's very powerful for these guys. Oops. So, yeah, they're weak to fire, but not ice, because they're undead. Two for one. Oh, oh wow, Ozzy, strike me with a thunder, will you? You've been thunderstruck. So, no ice, but yes, you know what? We need you, Chrono. We need heals here. And then you do one of the your famous flamethrower things. Yeah, they're weak to fire. Or wind, apparently. That brings up 100. I'm just gonna use a potion for now. Flamethrower. Ozzy's in the pickle again, huh?
Uh, how, how, did, how much did I miss? He was playing Zelda. On, uh, let's go back. No, not enough. Playing Zelda. Now I'm compensating. He was playing Zelda on Game Boy, and I w was like always over his shoulder, head watching, head and shoulders. Yeah. He was lucky with all of the Game Boys that he got from Lazar, and then and late, then later he could buy. But where are they? Do you have all the Game Boys there? Uh, yeah, I was just talking about that earlier. Well, there was just one Game Boy, actually. Uh, there was a regular Game Boy, black and white, and then there was the color, which Lazarus' mom broke when they fought or something. I think he didn't listen to her. So, yeah, that one's gone. But then, uh, uh, I got another another one later, and then uh, I got the Game Boy Advance SP, a regular Advance and Advance SP, and... Uh, then I gave uh, Advance SP to a friend, actually to Marco, you know him, Marco Petkovic. And, uh, but I got the Nintendo DS, I think it's here, I've been playing it, no, I've been playing it the other day. Uh, which, like, can play both Advance, Game Boy Advance and DS games, so yeah, I have a couple. I have all the consoles I had and more, I never throw away consoles or sell them. Yeah, though, okay, that's, I don't consider that mine. I know David yeah. says it's uh, it's ours, but no, comrade, it's yours. It's just on love. The, the, David brought me like a shit ton of consoles as well, Sega consoles, because I have Sony and Nintendo consoles and Microsoft Xbox consoles, but no Segas at all. Um, but David is a huge Sega fan, so he brought me all the Sega consoles, like five copies each. And he's like, that's ours, but I'm like, you know, I love that he says that, I really appreciate it, but I'm still, like, they're yours, until I get my own, because I, you know, what happened in the past, so I don't like to appropriate other men's consoles. <laughs> this, we, Sorry. it's not communism, we don't appropriate other men's Sega, Sega Mega Droid. Years after that, whenever someone somewhere mentioned Zelda, I was like ecstatic uh, of nostalgia. I always thought that game isn't that famous enough. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. I used to think that until I went to until I uh, went to the internet for the first time. Then I realized, oh my god, it's one of the most famous games ever. But the one that you watched me play, A Link's Awakening, that's the fourth game in the series, and it's the weirdest one. It has no Zelda in it at all. It's just Link. So Princess Zelda is not even in it. Uh, and it doesn't hap it doesn't occur it doesn't take place in Hyrule the where most games take place in the kingdom of Hyrule this one takes on play takes place on an island that doesn't even exist because it's a dream of a giant flying fish I shit you not I we understood the plot very little as kids because it was in German and I used to have the dictionary and everything but uh, uh, later from Miha I got the English version of the game well I mean I understood it later because, well, my German also got better. <laughs> but then I got the English version, which, you know, made it even more epic for me. And, yeah, I will play the whole Zelda series at some point. Well, at least the... How many Zelda games they have? Zelda 1, Zelda 2, A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, The Minish Cap, The Wind Waker, and... Twilight Princess are the ones I can play. So 11 games I can play on stream. The ones on the DS, Phantom Hourglass and... Uh, what's the other one? Something about the train? Choo Choo, Choo Choo something? No, wait. Spirit Tracks, yeah. I don't have a way to stream DS games without the emulator, which I would like to avoid, but I may do it, I don't know. I don't like those DS games anyway. They're the only Zelda games that haven't finished. Well. One of them I started at December December 2019. It's April 2022 now. So you can imagine how little I think of that game if I didn't finish it yet. It's just a gimmick. <laughs> oh, so weird, but so good, guys. Yeah. Well, he's a geek like your brother, so... Drat. I mean, Drat. I forgot what which voice I gave him. Okay, it's time for the big skeleton, guys. Th that's it. This time you're finished. I mean it. Isn't it about time you gave up? Mess with Chrono and you'll be sorry. 
Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna do the shuffle, the skeleton shuffle. Those are the skeletons of the soldiers he just killed. There he is. There he is, our boy. Go, Zombor! Crush Lord Magus' enemies. So what is he weak to? Let's start with a decent physical attack. Oh, he got legs and head and shit. Don't kill Marla, please. She's the healer. Wait, 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 wait. How about this? Oh, he's a skeleton. I might heal him, but let's try. Gotta try it at least once. How about this? Pelvis? I know you gotta destroy both of them different times. So there's a trick to this, but I don't know what it is. I didn't see what it did. Damn it! So that can be hurt with ice, I hope. Let's try... No, I'll shoot him. Ah, fuck it. Just destroy it. Destroy the top part, then we'll take care of the legs. Death, death, death. Okay, that hurt. I will not lie, that did hurt. Poor Marla, she's fucked. It's time for an aura whirl. And then... A potion for good measure. Yeah. Blood, blood, blood. Did you just suck my blood, man? 50 health! Fuck off, mate! Oop, that heals the... Okay, so wind is for lower part. How about regular all attack? Shaboom! MP Buster steals MP. Whoa, 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 I need that to survive, man. Okay, so we killed the top part. Now he's just gonna kick us with physical attacks. So what we need here is... an Aether. Whose MP? Her MP is gone, okay. And then... an Aura Whirl. Now have at the Just fire and... destroy him. Just a regular attack, right? 67, okay. Uh, ice will heal it, though. So... So not for now, just attack. But you... Fire. That should hurt. Yeah. Fire is better than flamethrower, definitely. Done. Zombor is history. That's why I sometimes call you Zombor, by the way, zombie. <laughs> 1500G. Chrono got a level. Oh, how do how are techs going along? 
58 and 68. Okay. All right, we passed the Zenon Bridge. Let's save. Hey guys. Thanks to your aid, we were able to defend the bridge, but unless we defeat Magus, it is an empty victory. We could not have regained the bridge without you. We could not have regained the bridge without you. We could not have regained the bridge without you. That guy is still like a teenager. Let's see what the king says. Oh, free shelter. Let's not forget a free shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore that bush. It's a trap bush. It's a trap! And now I have enough shelters to heal everyone. And I worry. The hero? Okay, yeah. So where's this hero guy? Okay, nothing about his brother. Never mind. I went all the way for him to be dismissive. The light is having a stroke, I think. Electricity is fucked up. Oh yeah, there was a town here once upon a time. Or actually there is Dorino. It's a new town. It didn't exist in the Middle Ages. And there's a cathedral, Fiona's Villa. Oh yeah. And the, the mountain is here then? Yep, magic cave. So that wasn't there in the Middle Ages. Oh wait, this is the Middle Ages. That's right. So wait, I, I, I confused myself. So this is here now, but I won't be there in the in the present. That's right, because a lot of things change in this game with time. And there's poor Tata's house. I think this track is called Yearning of the Yearnings of the Wind or something like that. Mark it. The hero has come at last, then I suppose it is only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. We defeated Zombor, the huge skeleton from the intro. He he got the bones of a lot of soldiers he killed and combined them into a huge skeleton guy. Oh my. Yeah. And you had to attack both the pelvis and below and above pelvis. It's two different parts. Oh, welcome. What can I do for you? It is. It's my, one of my favorite Chrono Trigger tracks. Oh, thanks, sis. Potion Athenian Athenian water, I keep reading Armenian water. My thanks. So there's a there was a town here. Look, the continent is different in the past. There was a town there. Dorino, I think it's called. And uh, there's also this place, which is gonna be very important, Fiona's Villa. Remember in the present they said there was a girl, Fiona, who tried to revive a forest? See this deserty region? Yeah. So the deserty region is the Dora Mountains and the Magic Cave. Uh, there's a reason why there's a desert here. We'll find out later. You wanna know? There's a monster that's making the desert. It's, that's lurking beneath. <laughs> Market. No, we've been in the market. Residence. 
residents of evil. Mother says I'm not to play outside because it's dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored. You don't sound like a medieval kid, kid. Oh, is he following me now? Jesus. Is it true that His Majesty suffered injury? Oh, what will become of us and our kingdom now? Wait, this is also under Guardia? Oh yeah, this is all Guardia, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her, I'm acting! I'm acting! Oh, where could Sir Cyrus be? Cyrus, that's right. Cyrus is actually frog. Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. They say that the Fiend Lord is a master of the arcane magic of all. The cantrips of his friend fiends are nothing compared to what he wields. Yeah, that is true. We know why. It's locked. We shouldn't probably dig through other people's stuff. Are the rumors true? Wait, this is a boy. Are the rumors true? Is the Fiend Lord's army truly closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so I'm sure it will all be, will be all right. Tales say the legendary Masamune sleeps deep within the Denatoro Mountains. They say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Pray the end of the world is at hand! Oh no, pray. I thought she was like, you know, pray tell. <laughs> yeah. So she said, Pray, the end of the world is at hand. Okay, Miss Nun, sure. Many people visit Inge. If you're searching for someone, Inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy will dissipate if it's hit with a wind slash? Nature has a way of balancing things out. Well, thanks for the tip. I'm sure that'll not come in handy pretty soon. Margus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there will be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's why I mean to keep hiding in the bottom of this mag mug. <laughs> oh, okay, drunk boy. Want to hear something interesting? Oh I'm sorry, he, he's not able to cope with it. Mm -hmm. he's coming to the yep. There's a lot of adult themes hidden in this funny speech because it was oh, made for so kids. Silly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying my best. The Denodoro Mountains to the east are filled with monsters called Ogans that wield huge hammers, but burn their weapons and their pussycats. So you want to say they're pussy. You're looking for the hero? You might have better luck down south in the village of Poor. Now it's a village, it's not a town yet. That's where they say he's from. And Chug Chug. They're all drinking because they know they're gonna get fucked. Greetings, this is the Dorino Inn. It'll cost you 50G for the night if you please. I don't please. Will you stay? No thank you. What a shame, I will be waiting your return then, like you know I'm gonna be back. Have you met the hero already? Oh, I haven't met him either. I wonder what the champion of the world looks like. I'm so thrilled to see. A great swordsmith of long ago forged a masterwork blade called the something or other, Mooney. <laughs> No one alive has the skill to make a sword to rival it. You know who made it? Yep. Melchior. The Great Melchior. Elder's House. The item I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. Here's some money. Th oh my god, this is important to cover your expenses. Worry not, they do not call me a legendary explorer for n without reason. I will not disappoint. Yep, this is re also really important. Hmm, I'll be awaiting good news. I went right so I couldn't hear them the entire speech. 
Well then, now that's the business is that the business is settled. I think I'll go down. A dr I'll go down a drink for the road. If I come back while well, he's, will it repeat? Ah, no, it won't. It said only the ancient sword, the Massimune, can slay the fiend lord, and only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. So he wants the rainbow shell. We're gonna need that way at the end of the game. With the rainbow shell, we could make prismatic armor to guard against magic. Yet I worry I may have misplaced my trust in that young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? Spoilers! Toma dies. We'll find his grave in the present. He never got to find the rainbow shell. He, f he dies in a cave trying to find it, but he leaves the journal that will help us find it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do some spoilers because this is a huge game and huge plot and I see how hard it was to follow Legacy of Cain. But I know more details here, at least I think. At least I'm more confident in front of Sasha, so yeah. The hero's here to save us. He's strong and he'll stop the bad monsters. I'm trying to give him like a British accent there, as you can see. This house belongs to the Reno village elder. My, that is unusual garb you wear. Are you outlanders? Did you come fleeing Magus's fiends too? Oh, call his biglitz. Yeah. There's a lot of pain and suffering in this game. Yeah, the IP is about to switch. That's true, I know. But I'm not taking a rest. Again, because I'm going to end the stream soon, so... Uh, we're just going to live through this IP switch and... I think it's happening. Yep, it's happening. It it is going on. And and oh, cheesecake. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I'm done with the stream, it's almost done. No, that's not a bad idea. I could get I could get me a piece of cheesecake. Mm, why did I do that? It's gonna be very painful now. Uh, the the headphones. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mmm. What is? It is. Mmm. I love the raspberries. Diabetic cheesecake. Let me refresh the chat. Thank you, love. Wait, with this accent, I could do like, oh, quite, my man. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Mmm. Yum yum. It is very yum. Did I even finish the chocolate? Nope. It's because I don't close my mouth. Welcome to the chat room. Wait, where's all the chat? Oh, here we go. Thanks, sis. For a second, the chat was just empty. <laughs> Oh, quite. Let's let's leave. Damn it! I wish I didn't interrupt the Toma cutscene, but that's okay. That's pretty cool because if you if you walk away, you don't hear it. I, that is awesome. So we've seen the entire Dorino town, right? Okay, let's visit Viona's Viona's villa. Viona's villa. There she is. Some call her crazy, but some know her true good. My husband, Marco, hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together, so I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. Oh, that's just heartbreaking. So they made that little grove of forest together. Mid-Ether. You know, she gave everything she could to revive the forest, but she never could because there's there's an ant lion living uh, underneath this continent, and he constantly eats the roots. Yeah. So way later, we're gonna use Robo. Well, use because Robo is a robot. He can live forever, almost as long as Lu Luca keeps him, you know, maintained uh, in good condition. So. We're gonna realize there's no other way to make this forest work. So we're gonna bring Robo here, leave him in this time period, 
first we're gonna kill the ant lion then we're gonna leave robo here in this time period and uh robo's like gonna like plow like a combine endlessly and we're gonna go 400 years into the future to pick him up while once his job is done because we wouldn't live to see it he would he's gonna be all old and beaten up and broken down but luca will fix him up overnight and it's gonna be one of my favorite cutscenes in the game when they're all gathered around the campfire and the, when this is all a forest and not a desert you can see why i love this game so much and why people love it how how wonderfully scripted it is so Because it's a fucking continent. Imagine like this. this. They're traveling. It's not like the size of Grotska. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's for the plot. Just just yeah. take it. Yeah, let's see. Pour in. Anything here? 20G paid in advance. Would you like to stay? No, thank you. Come again soon. Mock. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. Uh, uh, it's so, so heavy. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. The sense of humor is just fucking amazing. Can we talk to him? No. <laughs> I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. <laughs> Another stand capsule. Oh, free, free stuff. Thank you. Wait, we got something gold. We got the golden helmet and I didn't even equip it. Don't ask. Just don't. <laughs> oh, they can't even wear. So only men can wear the golden helmet. Okay. I could have done that. It would have helped a lot. Hmm. <laughs> Porian beret. Yeah, that's for that's for women. Yep, I'll take two. Thank you. And then, golden suits. I'll take three for now. Let's equip all that shit. So him, the golden suit. Woo! That's a good jump. Nice. Nice. You can equip Robo from way over there if you want to. Stamina plus two. So do I want Marley to have more magic or more... Yeah, hold on. Magic will help with healing and attack, but Ribbon will help with her accuracy, which is her main attack thing. Look at the the attack. Well, it just goes one. Never mind. Accuracy goes up by two, but uh, attack only goes up by one, so never mind. I'll keep magic. So her magic is 21, 21, and Kronos is 12. <laughs> oh, poor. Poor dumb man. Can't use magic. And Robo is a robot. He's just like nine. Okay, did I equip them all? Yeah. Nine. Tavern. <gasps> Wait, I should meet, I should see Toma here if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. A strange monster came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lean and this and mass immune death. Sure, he was an ugly frogman, hey <laughs> hey. Oh, we know who that is. I cannot believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very will village. village. Have you heard the latest? No. Well, then let me be the one to tell you. The legendary hero is from our own village. You just told me that, man. Stop. Barwench, stop. I, I besiege thee. Proprietress. I've not seen little Tata lately. I wonder where he's gone off to. <laughs> Why? <laughs> little Tata? <laughs> Do you want a little Tata? <laughs> How about 
Yalchik. I suppose I should count my blessings. These are lot things are a lot quieter without that brat around causing trouble. You can put two and two together by now. I can't believe that naughty little urchin Tata is the legendary hero. Have you heard about the magic cave? The one east of Denadoro Mountains. I saw a sheer rock wall there part like a castle gate, and then a host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave Margus and his cronies to their own devices though, lest you want trouble. Very uh wordy. What's the word I'm looking for? Wait, where's the where's the tavern? Dorino Inn. There! I should meet him. There he is, Toma! Poor bastard. Ah, oh, hello! How have, how, have, how have the days treated you? I've got some information for you if you'd care to buy me a drink. What say you? Can you spare 30G? Alright. My thanks. Barkeep, another round. And, well, infl well, it's different time periods have different prices too. Inflation actually occurs. <laughs> Possible, but why not? Inns are cheap. Word has it an odd, odd beast has taken up residence deep in the southern wood. Strange as it may sound, they say it's a monstrous frog. How about that, eh? Yep. He's gonna tell me another thing. Okay, that's it. So I bought him a drink. I'm gonna see him a few more times on his quest. In this time period, of course. So, let's check out this town and then we'll end it here. Tata's house. But the Elder's house. Yes! Remember the Elder? With kids that hated him? There are the generation chests. I'm going to be Tata's bride one day. No, not you. If only some I had some spiced jerky, what a wondrous meal I could make. It's all connected. We're gonna stop jerky. seeing Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see connection between like they need that, they need that, and we're gonna put it all together later. The boxes beside the bed have been handed uh, down to this family for generations. I've not the slightest inkling what's within. Find a way to open them, and the contents are yours. Why? <laughs> because they're good people. For now. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first I thought it for a fake, but it's the genuine article. He truly is the hero of legend. I suspect he's combing the Denadoro Mountains to the north, even now searching for the sword of the legend speak of. <laughs> A place known as the Magic Cave lies east from the Denadero Mountains. That place will send chills down a grown man's spine. Okay, so they're they're not talking about it yet, but yeah, that's the ancestor of the uh, of the very rich guy, Tata's house. My own son, the legendary hero. Seems I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. <gasps> Father of the hero. Hey, <laughs> hey, I like the ring of it. My grandson is the great hero. That's for my side of the family. <laughs> Uh, he is not the hero, you know that. You understand, he's a kid. He can't be the hero. So, we got a hint about a frog. Cursed woods. So yeah, let's, let's stop here. This is which chapter now? The hero appears, yeah. This is gonna be a good cliffhanger right here. So we'll, we'll continue this the next time, possibly tomorrow, because he's got a medal that proves he's a hero. 
but uh, he wasn't supposed to have it. He just found the medal and like because the legend says the, a guy with a medal will appear and he's the hero. Everyone's like, yeah, he has to be a hero. He has the medal. Right now, I have to drop the oxen. What, 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 what? Uh, Twitch. Twitchity Twitch. Let's see. Hmm. Let's raid. Oh, come on, load me. For fuck's sake. Alright, let's raid. Steric is doing something. Oh, something on the Mega Drive. Yeah, he's doing a Mega Drive challenge. He's playing all the Mega Drive games in existence. Bravo, that's all I can say. Um, thank you, sis. Thanks for sticking around. You and Anchi and Milosh, wherever he may be, and Zombie. Kun is all around, I believe, as well. Start Raid, Hysteric Moon. So he's doing the Mega Drive challenge. This is, I don't know, the nth game, Mega Drive game. Bye! Playing, what do you mean, cancel? Unraid. <laughs> Let's try it again. Whoop! Why? No, it would tell me. I, probably because I touch, my fingers are huge and I touch something I shouldn't. So, just back off. Press the raid button. Yep. Don't don't touch anything. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Good night, zombie. Good night, Kun. I don't know if Kun ever sleeps, though. I've seen him play Outbreak very late my time, very early my time. It just blows my mind. The man's a fucking legend. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you in the next stream. That's a better way to say. And mwah. Zoo. Raid. And that's it.